The next chapter has begun! Banner Saga 2! Oh, here we are in the second of the series. There's a survival mode for this one. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I, re I refuse to, <laughs> to do this. That is, uh, that's terrifying. I'm going to, I am instead going to play it normal. Oh, man. Watch recap. Hmm. Watch a recap. I think a recap would probably be good. Uh, we can watch the recap and then we can resume. My guess is my safe... Oh, is this centaur, people? Centaurs? I get centaurs in this? Oh, my... I want to play with centaurs. We got Juno. Oh, the team. Oh, the feelings. What is this that we got? What's this box that we're digging out of the earth or we're putting someone down? I don't know. Either way. Ooh, last game. Oh, boy. Banner Saga 1 was a, was a gut punch. It was a big old gut punch. <laughs> okay, well, I think it's time that we recap everything that happened last time. When the sun stopped in the sky, life continued as normal. Then the stone arm of dredge reappeared. Ancient foes from the far northern reaches. And the world was thrown into chaos. Giant Varl defenders were slaughtered. Their strongholds destroyed. Now Hakon is the Varl king and protects who is left of his race. Rook, a humble hunter and father of Alette, found himself leading frightened clansmen towards safety. His caravan crossed paths with Juno and Ivan. Ivan. Two of the mysterious spell weavers known as Menders, who know something about the massive mountain breaking serpent on the loose. In Borsgard, a town under the protection of the mercenary leader, Bolverk. Both Varl and human stood against a dread general. The immortal Sunder, known as Bellower. Juno devised a way to stop Bellower. But it cost the life of one held dear. Uh. <laughs> one hell dear no no let in this game i wonder if it's gonna ask me if i let a let or rook die mm -hmm. i hope it does i hope it does resume ask me who i let die does it not matter hmm doesn't who are my heroes who are my heroes let better not be in here <laughs> Better know who I killed and who I didn't. It doesn't matter. We're not looking at uh, we're not looking at them right now. We're looking at some totally new characters. What is this guy? <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, look at the tattoos on this dude. You are in the correct video now, my friend. Welcome, bullheaded gaming. Welcome. Ah, uh, this is a fresh. This is a fresh start. I don't know if there's a way. For me to, like, import my previous game, the only, like, big choice that really happened was this is an old save. Oh, is it? Is it? This is not how it starts. Okay, all right. All right, thank you, because that was probably wrong. I hit resume. This is not how it begins. This is some other game. <laughs> this is my old game from a thousand years ago, probably. New game. Oh, there it is. No. No. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't do it. No. <laughs> oh, she looks so cool with her hood up. And I just look like a disheveled piece of crap. 
Import or choose. Import saved game. Import saved game, please. Um, is this the one we just did right here? Import. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh my god, I almost <laughs> messed that up. Oh my god, you're here. I would have fucked all this up. Uh, <laughs> thank you, boy. Game. This is it. This was that game we just did. This was today. All right. Yes, I get to import my old game. Yay. <laughs> oh, glad it. I'm so happy I could import my game. Oh, jeez. <coughs> oh, okay. Ooh. <sighs> All right. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm just starting off. Is there no grid anymore? Wait, what? 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 Move away from those glowing rocks. This one's mine. Oh yeah, you have the different perspective. Okay. That's great. No! No! To the depths with you! Mm. Oh man, it's me, it's Brooke! <laughs> Keep killing them. Oh, Ivor and Hakan coming in. Damn it, Rook, quit running ahead. Drag around the screen to look at your surroundings to see the check marks to continue. So they, they, they drop the grid for just like a little bit more environmental friendly. Yep, we know about the initiative. They, oh no, it's still here. It's still here. I just thought they clear dropped the grid, but they didn't. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yep, I know how to play. Unless something's crazy different. Hoo 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 hoo. Hoo hoo. Yep, got it. Got it. I understand. I know what I'm doing. Don't you worry. I'm a veteran of this here fight. Check mark, check mark, check mark. Whoa, he's... Oh, we have environmental stuff now. Very cool. Ka-chow. Gold tiles. Kerbalamo. Hmm. Move attack. Sundering sword. Got it. They're gonna... They're gonna baby step me through this for a little while. Something's okay. Down to pillage. Ugh! Character has one willpower. Move. Um, looks like the dredge is in some trouble. Rook won't be able to finish the job with the normal attack, but willpower can be used to boost his damage. Click the dredge grunt tile to attack. Okay, all right. that's what it wants me to do. That's what it wants from me. Gotcha. Gotcha. Not finished. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, snap. Mm. Oh, 
am I just like crazy now? I'm just like going in. Oh my gosh. I am messed up from uh, from some some shit. <laughs> no, no. I'm swinging for the little guy. Kidding me? <laughs> We're going to be strategic about this. No. No, it definitely wants me to be definitely wants me to be messed up. Reflected. I'm hiding in this corner. Oh, still up, still up. Nope. You can't stop me. I'm Rook. <sighs> I'm Rook. I'm very angry that my daughter is dead. So I will probably kill one of these dredge. <laughs> probably not. I don't think I have the power. If I can like manipulate this board, I bet I can run around and never be actually hurt. And slowly murder this guy. No, 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 don't get to me, don't get to me. Still my turn. <laughs> go, Rook, go! Oh, it deflected. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I'm not. I'm not, just my armor's gone. Fighting to the last man. Fight for your lives! Who's going? Don't reach me. Oh. <laughs> the fact that I'm still going. Oh, if I can get this guy, I don't even know. I don't even understand. This is not what this game... They just wanted me to get wrecked, but I am making it ha... Oh, nope. This is where it gets me. No, he's... Get nope. Oh, no, he got me. Okay. <laughs> If I would have caught him, oh, that would have been great. Ivor coming to save my ass again. A final blow directed at your head is deflected and giant horns slam into the dredge surrounding you. Ivor pulls you to your feet and away from combat as other fighters from your caravan rush in to finish off the enemy. I'm reckless now. I'm, I'm, I'm a reckless boy. Ivor moves... Yeah, look at my hair. I look like a freaking... I look like a mess. Ivor moves you past the crowd of worried villagers, ensuring that you can stand on your own. I don't know what you... He stops speaking as the village chieftain approaches. Is this him speaking? Yes. All right, okay. Of our leader, saving a human village from those things, legends are made of much less. No Varl leader... Just Ivor. Those things were dredge, like the stories you probably heard as a kid. And it was Rook here who ordered us to stop. Forgive me. Maybe it's this never-setting sun or dredge, or the deaths of so many of my clansmen. I am not myself. The man's eyes appraise you as he quickly nods. I am Elio, the Skald. Were you trying to drive the dredge all the way back to nor the north by yourself? Remain silent. I wouldn't stop here. I wouldn't stop there. Elio looks at your eyes for a moment before recoiling. Some ter something terrible must have happened to such a hatred for such hatred. To Phew, I messed that line up. Something terrible must have happened to have such hatred for them. A topic for another time, Scald. Maybe. Of course. Mind if I ask for a few, uh, some news from Borsgard. We heard the rumor uh, that the Sundar Bellower was laying waste to the town. More than a rumor, but he's been dealt with. By... by your clan? Your Sundar Slayers? The term makes Ivor wince and ends uh, Elio's excitement. But what, what about the shaking in the ground? Only yesterday we felt a rumble like, that, not, like none before. You think we have all the answers? Elio looks shocked and confused. I'm exchanging information with you. It's a normal thing we do here. Get used to things not being normal anymore. Enough. We need to leave. Nonsense. 
You just arrived and defended us. Don't insult us by leaving before we can thank you properly. I meant all of us should be going. Your people too. Not to sound ungrateful, but this place, it's all we have. It's our home. Don't be stupid. More dredge are coming. Wanting to defend what's yours isn't stupid. You know that. I know this village lost fighters today. So they have lesser chance of defending themselves tomorrow. Rook is right. I hoped that their defeat here today would keep the dredge away. But when voiced... The Skald looks around at the small huts of his village. Borsgard is the only other place I've seen in my life. This small village is all my family knows. Are things really as tragic as you're making them sound? Probably worse. Elia looks back and forth between you and Ivor before nodding. Packing and tending to our dead will take some time, but I'll have everyone in the ship soon. Elio heads off to the village to organize supplies. Ivor, one of the giants known as Varl, has fought Dredge in the northern winters, personally killed the Sunder Rays, and lost an arm to the Sunder Bellower. He has been by your side through everything, including the death of your daughter. Now you feel the weight of his full attention. What you pulled out there, fighting the Dredge alone, was that tied to a let at all? <laughs> oh. <sighs> the villagers could probably use your strength. I can tell them to fuck off right now. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. I also forgot that I want my chat to be in the top corner now. That's where that's going. Much better. Cool. Um, that way we can see the lines, which are very important. Um, <laughs> how, how vengeful, you know what, it sucked so much losing her and I didn't think it was going to happen, I thought it didn't, I didn't think it would matter, um, I thought I could save her kind of situation, I will play the vengeful dad, they'll pay for taking her from me, not much of a plan, I don't care about a feigned plan, they killed her, Bellor killed her. And we killed him. And she's still gone. I shouldn't have let her fire that arrow. Maybe that's why you charged into those dredge alone. You think you deserve to die. Only the lapping waves on the bank disturbed the silence. I felt the same way back on the bridge in Ennertoft. What changed... Oh. What changed your mind? Not sure it has changed. But these people, they need a leader. That better be enough to change yours. He walks toward the village, dropping the mic, leaving you alone with your thoughts. Oh, man, that Ivor guilt, that Ivor guilt. Oh. Screenshot. Had to have it. Oh. It reflects off the water. Oh, 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 this game hurts me inside. And there I am. Oh, and I bet it changes to Alette if it's from Alette's perspective. From their homes must all flee. Oh, my God. Oh, it does. Oh, Oh, this game hurts me on the inside. And it's so very sad. Oh, it's sad both ways. No, you can't take... Oh, one of them goes. But we still have Ubin. Ubin's still here, our narrator, our storyteller. <laughs> the traveling merchants are surprisingly well stocked. Ubin, the old Varl, dubbed Scrivener says, since Borsgard on numbers have grown, people have scavenged for food and eaten it too. Regardless, we'll need plenty of supplies considering our destination. What kind of supplies? 
Stuff like food and mead for the trip. The merchants have got a few interesting items as well. But folk can't eat those in lean times. You'll have to choose wisely. Even your renown will only stretch so far. Where can I find the merchants? Can't miss them, he says. A group of tents they call a market. Thanks, Subin. Of course, he says. Oh, I almost forgot. There's something ruffling the feathers of the ravens, the mercenaries who followed us from Borsgard. Chat with their leader, Bolvac, but be careful. He's not like other Varl. I know what the medallion... Actually, I should reread this. This medallion gives you the information about your caravan, uh, including the population supplies or now a number of days that have passed. This banner indicates that you have enough supplies to provision your caravan for 28 days of resting or travel. A larger population requires the supplies per day to survive. Zero! Welcome, my friend. We have finished Banner Saga 1. Oh, it's okay. Banner Saga 1 finished. We had to make a hard choice. Uh, let's just say that Rook is still with us, but a certain daughter is not. Uh, so... You can definitely check out uh, that video if you want to see the choice I made. But we have imported our game into Banner Saga 2. We have escaped the city of Borsgard. We have defeated Belor. But we have sacrificed a lot along the way. And we are just starting. Uh, number 2. We've left Borsgard. We are on the road. We're happy to have you. Uh, both you and Bullhead Gaming in here. Very cool. Put a 2 down in this little number right here. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and it's good. Uh, I'm just rereading. Who did we sacrifice? Oh. Um. Alette is no longer with us. Alette is no longer with us. I. You will have to. You will have to check that out for yourself. It is a hard hit. A hard hit. Very hard. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I know. I had a choice of who to give the arrow. I know. I know. I had a choice of who to give the arrow, and I didn't think it was a choice between Rook and Alette. And it was, and I gave it to Alette. She begged me for it, and I gave it to her. Oh, who else was it? Um, I, It should have been me. Uh, it was just me or her to take the arrow to kill Bellor. I gave it to her. She begged me for it. She said that she was she wanted me to respect her as her daughter. Uh, and I know. Alette versus Rook, the father. Yeah. I know. Um, It was either Rook fires the shot or Alette fires the shot. And I gave it to Alette because she gave me this speech that like was breaking my heart. She was like, please let me do something. And I'm just like, I had the choice of being like, no, I don't want you to be in danger or, or me taking it. And now I am playing the disheveled, hateful father Rook who despises his own decisions and ran into Dredge to try to kill himself and couldn't and has just been reckless. Uh, and I am all my hairs in front of my face. I am playing the the disheveled father. It's bad. it's bad. It is bad. I'm I am currently learning relearning what all this is. Actually, I don't really need to. I know I, I can hover over it. It'll tell me. Um. Sweet. I'm going to the market. Yeah, I know. It's rough. It's rough. Uh, we're going to play uh, a little bit of this uh, beginning here. Get a get an episode in for this. And then I'm probably closing out about 6 o'clock, I think. I just have to go confirm with the missus that that's okay. Because 5.30 was the OG plan. But I want to get a little deep into this guy. I want to start. Um, yes, I know how all this works. Yes, 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 yes. Confirm. Cool, cool, cool. Got it. Got it. It's just giving me a regular tutorial. Oh, okay, so this is how I get past level 5. Dude, you don't even know how much I'm hyped for CC tonight. It is so amazing. I believe I'm hosting Kyle. I don't know if he'll be streaming through Twitch, but I'm hosting him, so it'll be there. It'll be on his Twitch. Um, hopefully, I think that's what he's streaming through. He might be streaming through something else, but in any case, even if we just get, even if we just get audio, 
my hope is that it can be um, yeah i'm crazy hyped i'm going to i got i got my i got my drinks ready um i'm getting myself emotionally prepared by um losing you know everything i ever cared and loved for in this game <laughs> that way i'm just ready for it in crescent chronicles because this is this is basically crescent chronicles uh yeah please yes please uh Good start for prep, exactly. I get the voice. Alette was essentially, uh, essentially Spring Thea voice, but I am, uh, <laughs> I am, uh, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing Rook, which is just male, male, uh, uh, Thea, so we're fine. Um, god, these items are all sick. So I love it because your characters stay with and then they pump into the next level, and since I imported the game, I've got all my OG people. Probably my OG items, too. And we're getting into purple shit. So by the end of this, by number three, I'm like epic tier. I gotta be like level 10 guys. I gotta be crushing it. Oh, please, please, please. Um, oh, okay. Plus two to all talents. The hell? I don't have any level seven characters though right now. Unless I do. I can't check my heroes yet. When I check, well, I probably just need to talk to these folks. Odalief. My wife. The only one who can bring me happiness. She's not really my wife yet, but I'm hoping that she has some sort of some sort of joy for me. Odalief, your former chieftain's widow is demonstrating fletching an arrow to a few people as you approach. Give us a moment, will you? The group walks away as Odalief stands and wipes uh, loose feathers from her tunic. I doubt you're here to explain your actions with the Dretch. Oh, <laughs> I just... I miss Alette. I can only imagine. She watches you in silence, not pressing you to continue. Eventually she changes the subject. I wanted to discuss the clansmen. They're good at scavenging for food while we travel, but we could always use more fighters. But training them takes time. I'm not sure we have much of that to spare. Then you'll just have to find a balance that works. We're okay for now, but who knows how your needs will change. I see. Thanks. You turn to leave, but Odalief places a hand on your shoulder. We should talk, Rook. At some point. Talk about what? You. Not you, the leader, but the man I knew from Skulker. She gives you a faint smile and returns to her fletching. <laughs> oh, God! Can Rook make a, like, would, would Rook's, um, would this deep hole that he is currently in after losing a let of his own choice, would it ruin his, his chances with, with Odalief? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yes, Odalief, come comfort me in my tent. <laughs> you know, uh, Rook probably, like, I think it would definitely help him, uh, to find someone in Odalief, but like uh he's so i'm playing him very broken right now if she plays her words right i think uh i think it'll be i think he'll he'll definitely allow someone back in because he's all probably clammed up for sure uh red skull icon shows some of your units are injured yeah i got that i got that i'm gonna talk to bulwark i think his name's bulwark Bul bulwark oh and we got juno Juno's here. All right. The Varl mercenary leader Bulwark and a rather large female fighter are talking to Juno, a member of the Spellweaving Menders Council. Bulwark looks annoyed. Nothing usual, unusual. There is no haggling on this. You already accepted the offer of in Borsgard. I forget his voice. I think it's almost Hakan, but it's a little bit... Because I was literally just doing it. Uh, but it was yesterday. <sighs> Get this one to do it. Get me to do what? 
If Juno is surprised by your presence, it doesn't show. She continues to stare straight at the Varl. Rook is seen to the survival of this caravan. Something I doubt you care to do. Oh boy. <laughs> oh hell, we got Olga over here. Folka. It's a good name. Look at this design. This is great. Now that's a strong, that is a strong lady. She could probably put me in the grave. Oh, this is great. Do I go stereotypical with this? I think I go Hogan. Hogan Morgan. She seems the type. Uh, he won't be seen. He won't be seen to anything much longer if he keeps fighting like he did earlier. Make her, make her a little bit more sassy. I think Hogan and Morgan were just kind of like, ooh da doo doo. I think I'll make her a little bit more sassy. I think that'll work. Say nothing, but I'm still here now. Again, what other tasks are you talking about? Again, what other tasks are you talking about? That determination will see these people safely to Arboran. But with respect, our discussion stays between us for now. Her look at Bulwark says she expects him to keep it private. Ivand is apparently his name. I've said Avewind forever and I was committing to it because I couldn't figure out how else to say it. And a cinematic says Ivand, so it's Ivand. Alright, <laughs> that's what we're calling him now. Ivand, Ivand needs my help with healing the wounded, but we should leave soon. See Hakan at the dock when you're ready. Juno leaves without another word. Fen Valka. One of these days, Claws and Fang will get thirsty for Spillweaver blood. Claw and Fang. His axes. The large axe heads are polished, the blades sharp, and the cheeks scarred from plenty of use. But it's the gray handles that stand out. They're unlike anything you've seen before. I want to play this kind of character. I don't think I've ever gotten to be the stupid brute. Uh, I think it's a stereotypical D&D type character, and I've never gotten it. I've never, I've always been like, no, I must get this character with a storyline. I want just like, me kill. <laughs> just like a, name him Grog. Grog Strongjaw. <laughs> yeah, I want a stupid brute. I've never gotten to be a stupid brute. How long are you going to let Juno tell you what to do? You avoid his goading. Only to Arberang. Then it's King Minor's job. Like he's got the answer to any of this. He royally piss himself if he ever saw a dredge. The pigtail fighter laughs. Have we met? I'm Folke, a shield maiden in charge of keeping the ravens alive. Bulwark gives her a stern look, but she doesn't back down. I already know who you are, chieftain. Mm. I heard there's a problem I should know about. The Varl seems to grow taller and more wild as he takes a step towards you. You stopping to save every fawn idiot along the river will get us all killed. Makes more sense to only stop the ships when we need supplies. And get rid of half these useless people too. They're slowing us down. Mm. Oh, do I stand up to Bulwark? Uh. Don't tell me what to do with my own people. Bulwark's eyes twitch as he stares at you. Is he shaking? <laughs> Bulwark, let's worry about the ravens. This one knows better than to cross us. Bulwark snorts and turns his attention to a large sealed cart behind him. His bear, his bear cloaked back indicates the conversation is over. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I always play intelligent characters. I think it'd be fun to be. Uh, I think it'd be fun just to be a 
I don't think stupid is the answer. I just think like direct. I want to play. I want to play a character that's just like, this is the easy way. Boom. Let's give him a gruff voice. Just be like, killing things has always been easy. I'm just gonna kill. <laughs> like seems seems legit. Um, I still am unable to check my heroes out. I'm wondering maybe I rest. No, I can't peek at the hero roster. I'm like afraid to buy anything from the market. I only have 10 renown anyway. What is this? Two strength resist plus one armor, negative one movement. Blech. Blech. Boots plus one movement, negative one aggro. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. This one costs a million. What does it give? Three EXE talents. 10% dodge strength plus one move. Oh, boy. Well, I mean, I'm not going to be able to get any of these others. Never deflected. Marin. Oh, so what, what does that mean? Oh, that, you're, that your shots are never deflected? Dang. That's good. I might get that. This is great, but, like, never deflected shots? That's pretty sweet. I'm going to snag that. All right, let's get out of here. The wooden planks of the well-used dock creak as you cross them. As you walk across them. Hakan, a warrior recently acknowledged as king of the Varl, pay, uh, paces on the dock. Oh man, he's got a really close voice to uh, Bulwark, but we'll, we'll, we'll work with it. Now nah, he's got a little, a little bit more gritty. So no, not quite, not quite him. Not sure I was made for this, he says as you approach. Commanding in battle's one thing, but deciding how many chickens we need to bring? We've both made harder decisions. I didn't even read the other ones. That one's just sounding great. True, Hakan says. But usually I'm following orders and only thinking about where to swing my axe. Now every decision affects the next. He pauses, then laughs deeply. <laughs> Vognir, my last kinder, would have given me grief about thinking at all. A dark mood washes over him. His death remains a mystery, but I'll figure it out. Let's sail. Dep depart, yeah. After lighting the funeral pyre, the last villagers find seats on your rickety longships built of scrap wood scavenged in Borsgard. The ravens find space around a large cart on their back -sailed, uh, black sailed vessel. Oars slowly move all the boats into the river's current. Hmm interesting let's get this music to go up just a little bit all right so we can hear it <laughs> Ooh, now we're on ships and the banner is still there oh cool very cool <laughs> and the landscape's still gorgeous as ever oh Elio looks ill. At least it's not the brackish sea, he whispers to himself as he steps around uh, rowers and baggage to speak with you. I'm not sure where we all built. I'm not sure we were all built for an aquatic voyage, he says. And I hear Arborang is quite a distance away. My people could use a few hours rest on solid ground. I know, it's so pretty. The hopeful looks of the others sway you and your signal for the ships to make land. Would you mind telling me why the capital is our destination? Oh no, it's Alio. Uh, it of course shows me the picture, and that's how I think I was talking. Would you mind telling me why the capital is our destination? Alio asks. Abrang's walls have been breached. The Valka Juno says menders there can protect us. It's the furthest place from the dredge. It just is. <laughs> now help, bro. You know what? The mood I'm in, the mood my character's in, doesn't give a, doesn't give a fuck. It just is. Now help, bro. The scout frowns but says nothing. He returns to his bench and rows without complaint. Morale declined. God, and now I'm a dick. So that's all that's going to be happening. I'm just mad until Odalie <laughs> becomes my best friend. <laughs> I'm just angry until she uh, until she makes me a man again. This is the map of the world. Yep, I get you. Location of the caravans here. 
Prior to arriving at Alio's village, the caravan had hurriedly embarked from Borsgard in the wake of the devastating siege laid by Belor and his armies. Click on Borsgard to find out more about it. Don't worry, I know about it. I know. I'm aware. The caravan is attempting to reach Ormsdeller by river on the way to Arborang. Click on Orms Ormsdeller. Or Orms Ormsdeller? Ormsdeller. Ormsdeller. I'll figure it out as I say it. Ormsdeller is what I'm gonna say, which is probably wrong. As Strom led some of the first men east, Ormsdeller was one of the most important places they settled, nestled in the crook where the Orzma River splits. Ormsdaler. Daler? Dollar? Whatever. If Borsgard and Ormsdeller were, uh, were twins, Ormsdeller would uh, be the righteous brother trying to keep his evil twin from hurting anyone else. Interesting. I wonder if the L is Ormsdar. I wonder if the L is silent. Dollar, 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 dollar. I need to stop trying to pronounce words. <laughs> oh, I wish I had like a, uh, I wish I could like click it and a little voice would say how it's pronounced. That'd be great. Reaching Arborang, the human capital, is the ultimate goal of the caravan. It is hoped that the walls of the ancient city will provide safety against the, de the deepening catastrophe. Click on Arborang to learn more. Arborang. From humble beginnings to the eventual seat of power for the king, Arborang is the most populated and contested city throughout the human lands. Its towering obsidian walls have been pulled from the depths by the weaving power of the menders. As each new generation of residents builds another ring of walls, the city continues to grow larger, more indulgent, and more dangerous. Good god, I can't even imagine what the art is going to look like for that place when we get there. Oh, probably burning, since the capital cities that we tried to escape to set on fire for some reason <laughs> the world map is covered in many locations and holds much lore you can explore the map at any time clicking on locations for information i do love that it does that all right all right how do i escape how do i get out all right yeah when you are finished researching the world map click on this button to travel hello welcome pan pan me Welcome, hello, my dude. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the fun. Uh, we are playing some uh, Banner Saga two. Just finished number one. Had to make some difficult decisions, and now we're a father who has lost their daughter, and we're very sad. Uh, but we are going to make it. We will survive, not being killed by the metal people. <laughs> that is that is the plan. We are running away. Oh, it's your work friend with a first name with an E. I did horrible things. Oh. That is my work friend. I do... Hello, work friend. Um, yeah, yeah. I uh, lost my daughter. Uh, sent her to kill a big bad guy who's basically Sauron from uh, Lord of the Rings style or, or, or something of, of that. Maybe maybe more like Witch King of Agmar style. Uh, something Lord of the Rings-esque bad guy. Uh, it was either me to kill him or her. And I was like, everything will be fine. She get him daughter you're awesome because she was like please let me do this i'm your daughter and i'm like yeah no you're you can do this and she died and now i am a disheveled sad boy um <laughs> and it's not uh, it's not going great and we're just trying to escape the metal people and also the world is falling apart bad things happen in this game bad things bad things bad things um yes it is, uh, it is, it is rough. I'm going to click that the minute I send a message to my boss, my wife, and tell, and tell her, ask her, beg for one, for 30 more minutes. I'll be, she's probably cross-stitching, so we're good. 30 m more minutes! Because I just want to get a little deeper into here, yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, hopefully she she will let me. She'll message me back if it's if it's bad. But it, we're good. Uh, you can return to the map anytime. Got it. As you travel through the end of the world, as you travel to the end of the world, might as well say that time passes. Number of days passed is shown here. Each time a full day passes, your supplies will be consumed. Yes, morale drops during continuous travel, and supplies run low. In order to raise morale, you must camp and allow your caravan to rest. The number of days worth of remaining supplies is shown here. If the caravan has insignificant supplies, people will begin to starve, and morale will drop. 
Yes, I know you know who it is. <laughs> you know who it is. It took me a minute to figure it out. <laughs> In order, uh, Zero is, uh, is our, our work tech friend, whose name starts with a J. <laughs> In order to uh, maintain morale and heal injuries, you must rest in camp. Furthermore, camping provides you with opportunities to increase your battle prowess and converse with your heroes. Click here to camp. I will. I will camp on the river, apparently. Day passes at camp. Zoom time on morale. Click on the rest tent. Got it. Ooh, who am I talking to who's got this crazy hair? Anytime you can visit the heroes tent. Yeah, yeah. This is something we want to say. Extension for th of time for I, the arc thing, wish to continue to weave out. <laughs> oh, yes, I am weaving out for sure. I know what my items do. Don't tell me, game, how to play. Oh, I, l I have all the characters. Oh, it's so cool. Uh, click on a unit to view its stats. I wish there was a way for me to shut this off, but I don't think there is. Uh, click on an ability. Got it. Leave me alone. Now I just want to check out my stuff. Ooh, my team. It could be anybody. Gotta have... So, I love um, uh, <laughs> the one who gave the killing blow. The kill... Except my... Oh, don't. Don't do this to me. <laughs> don't bring up things that hurt. <laughs> don't bring up pain. Oh, my goodness. Um, no, it's great. Even though my daughter fired the arrow that would kill Bellower. Um, it was, of course, Eric. Stop. No, I don't. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> no more. <laughs> it's too much. You must repent for my sins. I am. Look at my... Look at how disheveled I am. My hair used to be great. Okay? Now it's all in my face. And I'm real sad. And my eyes... Look like I've got... I got bags under them. Rook's not looking good, guys. Rook is hurting on the inside. So we gotta give him a chance to just recover. Odalief is his one, the, the, the OTP, Odalief. She'll help him. She'll help him figure out how to, you know, get over his grief. She's, and she's gonna, she's amazing. Uh, and she will never die. I almost lost my mind when Odalief almost died. Coolest, one of the best characters in this game. Um, send his daughter to fight Sauron. But she said, she asked me, she said, respect, please, father, respect me as your daughter. Please let me do this. And I was just like, oh, I have to, I can't, I don't, I have to let her do it. I had to. Alio's not in my dream team. Get out of here. We're getting Gnolf in. Eric, the, the one who got the final blow on Bellor. The MVP of all time with his awesome rat tail sideburns who literally is... He's like the first character you see on screen. For some reason, he's in my main team. Um, get on here. <laughs> uh, she said, Father, respect me as your daughter. To shoot up this heroin, would you have let her? <laughs> this, that's a different situation. That is entirely different. She was... <laughs> no. No. She's great. I made a, a terrible decision. That I totally, I totally know was terrible. How is Luden level 4? A far less deadly situation. You know what? You don't know. You don't know what to, when, when the, when the heroine's gonna get you. This, uh, this unit has points available to spend. What is Luden like a monster? Alright. Yeah, they like pumped him up. I hate Luden. He's such a jerk. I ain't playing with him. Get out of here, Luden. You weenie. Does he have more points? Oh, he does. All right, get your armor. I'll never use you. <laughs> Honestly, a far less deadly situation. I don't know. I think a good father would have done it. That's what I did. Oh, just kill. Oh, God. Uh, kill Luton? I wish I could. He's a, <laughs> he's a bother. And he's always so sassy. Gotta get Ivan in, even though I called him Avewind for the whole first game. The real Banner Saga 2 play- Don't you give me that! Don't you give me that! I think it's very interesting. Uh, yeah, please plug it in. Please watch Bullheaded Gaming. He is playing the version where he was a good father and died for his, for his daughter. I am playing the worst Rook. <laughs> the, the worst version of Rook. It's sad that the better version of Rook is the dead Rook, but it's 
this is the worst version shameless self-promotion respect it yes yes oh thank you good one um odalief is in the team this feels good this feels like the dream team hogan and mogan chilling over the side did they level up no they just promoted the worst rogue TM. Yes, I am. There is only... It's either I die or I am the worst rook. This is the... <laughs> Eric is... A, no, Eric's the man. <laughs> he, he is the MVP. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. When Armada was in here, when we were first doing it, he was just crushing every game. Bring the bard. Uh, he's, yeah, bring the bard. He's basically the bard. He promotes. Oh, man. No, no. <laughs> look at his, look at his cheekbones and his rat tail sideburns. How can you not love this guy? <laughs> okay, he's coming out. He's coming out. He's the man. Oh, God. All right. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Oh. Luden. <laughs> We're bringing Luden in. We're going to try Luden now. He's level 4. He's stronger than he used to be. He's got a pretty good pierce ability. Rank 2. It's not bad. It's not bad. Helio, what's the spell? I picked the bard. Okay, okay. Let's check it out. Let's check out the ability. Tale worth telling. The character exalts his target to feats of strength and heroism. His words buff an ally for one round, round, adding one damage for every two strength the enemy is above the target ally. The boasts have no effect if the buffed ally attacks the enemy equal to or lower strength, so picking the right target is important. So wait a minute, let me, let me clear this up. His words buff an ally for one round, adding one damage for every two strength the enemy is above the target ally. Okay interesting interesting all right yeah we'll take the bard we'll take the bard punk pook and luden oh that's good stuff we only have four yeah we'll take the bard we'll take the bard game all right he's in he's promotable but not uh, i don't have the ability to do so we'll put the bard in that's to the wizard and we'll put him on the end i don't even know what i'm fighting i just like setting this stuff up I just want to make sure that none of my none of my people have points to spend. And they're just, yeah, we do have some points. We have some people who caught up. Suddenly, those 8th strength archers will wreck those 20 strength two-handed bulls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. He sounds like he'd be sweet. I just don't know if I, if like, him and Rook are, it, it makes sense dramatically for him and Rook to be in the same party. Also, if he's next to the unit that gets a kill, everyone gets willpower. Ooh, nice. That's his passive. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't check that. I should have. Um, just checking for points available. Ooh, yeah, we got, oh, we got E-kill. He's ready. Three points, huh? Three, one, two. Let's get that full armor break. Any more points? Any more? Yep. He's got a couple. Because they boost you a little bit as you import into the next game. Alright. And... Versney, I've, like, never used him. What's his power? Oh, he's got Tempest. The Varl all have very similar abilities to themselves. I think there's only, like, three that they share between them. We got Kroomer. Oh, you know what? I should just call him Kramer. <laughs> Uh, is that everybody? I think that's everybody. All right, cool. Let us continue on our path. Oh, we're talking to this guy. Oh man, I don't even know what voice I'm gonna give this dude. Probably something bad. Look at this weird hair. A strangely familiar man with a spear and tattoos beckons you. His movements are somewhat odd, almost comical. Kind of voice to give this guy. <sighs> oh, it's this dude. Is this the weird guy who showed up, like, and weirded out my my entire tent like a while? Uh, oh, oh, yes, excellent. Ah, uh, mm, of course. Uh, you wouldn't be confused by Tragivi's presence if you supported his, this journey long ago. What? 
The man's gaze, uh, the man's eyes glaze over for a moment before clearing. He now acts like your old friends. I've lost it. Lost what? My desire to keep going. <laughs> Same as you. <laughs> what? Uh... I don't think, yeah, I don't think Rook, I think... So, you're staying here. And die here? No. I just need to find it, my desire. I may have placed it in the sky, and the sun is staying put to hide it. That makes no sense. Tri Trig Trigvi? I'm gonna call him Trigvi. Leans in close to you as if to whisper a secret. Does this really make sense? Trigby starts laughing. It's disturbing. And as you walk away, you can hear him singing. Yellow and blue will lie to you, lie to you, lie to you. Because <laughs> your daughter's dead, right? Oh my god. I don't ever want to see that guy again. <laughs> oh, watch him just be... It's the same, it's the same thing with Onif. And also, I hated Onif. He betrayed me, stabbed me in the back, practically killed my, my waifu, and uh, tried to... Murdered my daughter, too. So he's dead, but I did give him a horrible voice. Uh, and he just kept coming up to the point where he stabbed me in the back. So I really hope he does not become an Onif. That's 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 all I'm saying. Uh, when you are ready to leave camp, you can click somebody click and leave. Heck yeah. Let us continue the journey. Oh, it's just so pretty. Ugh. It's just too good. Shouted orders turn several ships toward the bank. You have no choice but to call all the other vessels to halt as well. By the time you land, a crowd has gathered by the water. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, man. I have to find a voice for this guy. A man in fine clothes and missing a hand stands in the center of the others. No, I got a voice for this guy. We're going to go very simple. Um... Probably just my voice, in a way. He smirks as you approach. Ruga. I think pompous. We're gonna make him a little pompous. And I'm not gonna go too much of a voice on him. And here he is. The famed, self-proclaimed ruler of us all. Are you the reason for this delay? I don't answer questions from backwater scum. No matter how high they've risen in the pond. Oh my god. Fuck this guy. <sighs> Handle this quickly using force. Hmm. Then I'll stop asking and get back on the boats. You don't know who you're talking to, do you? Uh, Rook, you might not remember when we first arrived in Borsgard, but I went to Bulwark to speak with the governor. What's your point? Well, this is Raga, the governor. Ludin, the entitled prince of Arborang. No, Ludin, get back there. No, get back there. Can I shove Ludin to the back? No. <laughs> Who joined you in Irnatov steps forward from the gathering crowd. This isn't good. The former governor of what was Borsgard, actually. This is bad. Careful, Prince. Rivers are dangerous, especially this far from your papa's side. The threat causes a few gasps from the clansmen. Luden's bodyguard, the usual quiet Varl Bursney, uh, or, or Bursey, growls but is uh, waved off by the young prince. The meander and I, the mender and I, were just discussing Rook's banner. It'll make a nice addition to Boar's guards. Hmm. <laughs> Do I get a chance to side with Luden for real? <laughs> I don't know which asshole I like more. Luden or this guy. I hate this guy. That's but I don't care for Luden. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna I'm gonna muscle this dude. That's not going to happen. These aren't the rules of the woods anymore, Rook. You're among men now. Try to act like one. 
If anything, Rook's Banner should join Arborang's. Or are you claiming control of the entire kingdom, too? I'm trying to guide my vulnerable prince home with some dignity and proper leadership. But it was Rook who led the fight against Belwer while you hid in your great wall, Governor. Overseeing a besieged town isn't hiding, Mender, just as fighting in a battle isn't necessarily leading. But Rook... Oof. But Rook kept us alive across the frozen wastes, he did, cries a man. Saved us at Irnatov, too, a woman adds. Others join in, listing your deeds and cheering your name. Then it is settled. No more delays. Rook is our official guide to Arborang, but will consult with me on major decisions. Everyone just get back on the boats. Yes, return to the ships. The helmeted guard next to Ruga makes a gesture for only the governor to see. Ruga laughs and the crowd disperses. Man, fuck you, Ruga. Prince, your guide has a lot to learn before Arborang. Man, I'm a deck this dude. Oh. What a jerk. Why so many jerks in this game? I just want nice people. I just, I just want nice people. Ahead, Driftwood has collected, creating an impressive barrier for the longships. Alternatively, going ashore has its own risks from whatever might be lurking in the trees. Rohard will break through. Bank the ships and set all axemen to chopping. Oh, it didn't happen with let. No, stop! Don't! Ugh! <laughs> oh, just I got a lot of stab wounds down here from from you guys with this dead daughter stuff. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my heart slowly slipping out of my flesh because you're killing me. Uh, real hard, we'll break through. Bank the ships and set all axemen to chopping. Prepare for portage. We'll carry the ships around. Jeez. Bank the ships with the axe of chopping. Once on land, you, Ivor, and anyone else with an axe start hacking away at the wood blockage. Uh, thudding sounds filled the air. Moments later, Roga says, Damn, we've got company. As Dredge approach from the woods, you realize others have to, have to hold them off until you've cleared the driftwood. You're about to enter a battle. If you find the battles too challenging or difficult... Uh, or if you find yourself needing a tougher challenge, you can always modify the difficult settings. Don't worry, you can change the difficulty back when anything begins. To access the difficulty settings, open the menu. Yeah, I'm not going to. It's normal mode. We're in norm mode. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how this works. Um, who do we have access to? Not everybody. Apparently not Rook. Probably because I'm leading? Um, jeez, jeez, jeez. <sighs> Ludin, I hate you, but you're in. Um, he killed Denver, gets enough attention. I can't take Nid, looks too much like my daughter. Um, <laughs> too, too, much, too much pain, too much pain there. Let's put Ivan in the back. Right there, beep, beep, beep. And we are ready for battle. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. What is the situation we're dealing with? Dredge, obviously. The maps are just even more gorgeous than last time. Ugh. Yes, I know how that works. Cut you Uh, yep. Man, there's a lot of shit on the field. It is not going to be easy to, like, get in and swing a guy. Um, like, I'd like to. We can, you know, we can, like, strategize. There's, like, a big, huge freaking rock in the way over here. We can just, like, focus on this flank. And let them all have to filter in. Let's do it. What's your movement like? Yeah, you won't be able to get to me. His range has got to be decent. Oh, jeez. Oh, it was amazing. I understand how that works. All right, in turn. Okay, how far can you make it? How can I cheese you? Cause I don't I don't want him to punch me. I wanna I wanna punch him. So we're going here. 
Get that debris... Get that debris cleared. Hurry, I can attack the debris? What, what, what? That's different than what is normal. How? How, how, how? Hmm. Maybe I want that debris. What do you... You don't know me. Okay, here come big boy. Yeah. Let's, uh... Let's drop him here. Oh yeah, I can reach him. I know, I sent you a message. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. And then we're dead. I'll see you soon. I don't have a message What'd you say? I don't have a message from you. Where'd you you don't have a message from me? I have no notification. But I sent one. On what? Did I send it to your work phone? I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, boat wreckage, not that. Oh, okay. I get you. So, my power here is that I can give some boons. Oh, I was stupid enough not to... T Wait, where's Odalief? Oh my god, she's all the way down here! <laughs> oh, I left her all the way down there! That's not good. Tale worth telling. Every two strength the enemy has over ally gives plus one strength damage. Okay. Let's see how this works. We can hear him sing. That's pretty sweet. Oh, no. That's bad. That's super duper mega bad. Um, It's not good that she's over here, too. This is a hazard. To avoid it, you can carefully plan your movement by clicking waypoints tile before confirming your move. Got it. Uh, this battle's going terrible. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's not going terrible at all. Maybe it's going perfect. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite move in the game. Um, Alright. Let's mess this up. Boom. Okay. No. No. <laughs> Oh, thank God, I can't hit that hard. Um, Luden, you weenie. Freaking weenie hut. Oh. God, the bard is good. I get willpower just for him getting kills next to him. That's awesome. Um, jeez, Louise. Uh, you know, I know he can't quite make it there yet. I'm going to actually go right here. I'm going to snag this... Son of a gun. What do more stars do with this? Rank three strikes for four strength, so it does do more with the higher rank. Okay. Pow. Kerpow. Nope. Alright, I'm fine with that. You're I'm okay with that. Um I'm still not one hundred percent sure how his power works. Plus, every two strength an enemy has over the allies plus one strength damage. Now, oh, okay. How did I not understand that? We'll give it to him. So yeah, yeah, that works really well with the with the archers. Who goes next on the docket? It's him. So my fear is him getting close to hit i'm actually gonna call this right now if he runs into this shit i'll lose my mind oh oh, oh damn it <laughs> so close so close so far away well i get a sweeper this is sweet hey this fight's going great this fight's going great now watch this dude freaking oh oh man Thought maybe. Thought maybe. Guts. Oh no. Guts will hurt everybody. Um, We could just kill this thing. Die. Oh, wait a minute. Well, what happened? Oh, it deflected. Uh, okay. Our little boy's coming in. Wait. 
That won't shoot him. Okay, I thought I was about to run, jump in my own trap. Oh, that would have been sad. Please hit. Thank you. Battlehorn is full of stars. Hold no more. Be sure to use the Battlehorn to defeat enemies. Well, this isn't going to be good. This is going to be really bad. Ouch. That's painful. Um. Hey, guys. Oh, wait. Oh, that'll lightning strike him. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We're just going to, uh, we're just going to mend some armor. Get that armor back. Um, who goes next? It's Odaleaf. It's Odaleaf. Tail worth telling. No. Move, you dumbass. Get that tail worth telling. Get it on Odaleaf. Yes. I'll actually work. It'll actually work. What is going on? Oh. Jeez. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Let's do it. Boom! Odaleaf, best character. Odaleaf, greatest, greatest ally. You hear the axemen cheer as the blockage of wood breaks up and disappears down the river, but the dredge have regrouped. One of them looks especially menacing. The fighters around you are tired, but you could buy everyone else enough time to safely board the ships. Whew. Continue you stay on your ground? Get to the ships, because we're, we're coming down to our 6 o'clock deadline. Because uh, we got some D&D to prep for. Uh, for, uh, for tonight. Gotta make sure my living room's clean. You and your fighters turn and run. What the hell is that? Leaping for long ships at the river's edge, slinger rocks knock against the shields and a few helmets, but the ships move away. Everyone is safe until a glowing rock stands on the bow of a rear ship. The explosion kills a few, but the, uh, but the river kills the rest. Lost some clansmen. Lost some fighters. Lost some Varro. Morale declined. But I had to run. <laughs> <laughs> I had to run. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, well I think that's where we uh, I think that's where we make camp, my friends. And that is uh, hopefully going to save our previous progress. If it doesn't, I'll catch up to it. Oh, it looks like we gotta talk to uh, talk to Ivan when we come back. Um, and we will be playing this again next weekend, both days, Saturday and Sunday. We will continue our Banner Saga 2 trek. Uh, we may or may not play Tuesdays or Thursdays, depending on what's going on. Those are my free days if I stream or if I don't, so could continue then as well. Um, but for the most part, the weekends is when this sucker... Oh, excuse me, is going to happen. Uh, thank you, everybody who, who listened in um, and checked out the beginning of Banner Saga 2. It will be quite the journey. I'm sure it will tug at my heartstrings uh, further. Uh, as, you know, there's just always more for me to lose. <laughs> more, more, more happiness, more friendships. Uh, thank you, friend. Thank you for joining me. Um, all right, excellent. Uh, everybody who is watching this either uh, uh, after it's been recorded, wherever you are, have a good evening, a good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're at. Uh, thank you all again for joining me, and uh, take care. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.